Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a tour of Dream Wanderer's Vehicle World. Now this is a different video that you probably would expect it by now because usually, usually, I do upload a Maple Valley time lapse uh, every four videos, but instead we'll be taking a tour of Dream Wanderer's Vehicle World, which I think is a bit more exciting. He has a bunch, a bunch of builds that we can go through and that you guys can see. Now one thing is he has his world up for download, so I won't be going through each to each build super in depth i will be taking a look at each build though i will be having like you know say my comments having a look at them and stuff but i won't be spending too much time because obviously this video would be like an hour long given how much is here so the way i'll do this is we'll go through different sections so we'll have a look at the shed here first and then we'll go through the trains and then the cars and then jump over to the construction stuff which i bet Will be super exciting for a lot of you people because um, you guys or some of you guys have been requesting I do cranes and big construction stuff and then we'll have a look at some of the Star Wars stuff in the back or I guess that's the plane stuff right because actually you can see there are different sections right there um, but yeah we have a look at his planes and then his Star Wars and then his military stuff and then all the way in the back that you would have seen in the intro uh, the ships he has which are pretty insane so I guess what better way to start than have a look at this shed so this um, shed or I guess we call it barn or it's a machine a yeah, machine shed right so this is where he uploads his new builds now um, for planet Minecraft so this is a pretty pretty de detailed build as you can see here lots of detail on the ground um, this is actually pretty nice so if you come in here we have uh, some detail here. So we have like the, I guess the chains and like the uh, pulley systems and like this, uh, what do you call this? Yeah, pulley, right? Pulley and uh, like conveyor belts going through in here. It's pretty sick. I like the, the bamboo blocks here. It's pretty nice. Um, I will turn my render distance down to like, I think, let's say about 20 should be good, hopefully. Because I don't want to kill my game. So, uh, oh, one thing too. I have switched to Sodium because I've been on Optifine 1.19.2 for a while now. But I have switched to Sodium 1.20.1. So I do get the new blocks and it's uh, been pretty nice. And it's uh, this game runs a bit better than Optifine. Quite a bit better actually. I get about ooh, 900 frames on like, I think let's say, what, 12 or 15 chunks? Or actually more than that really. Um... But when I'm on OBS, like right now, it, it is a bit lower, but that's fine. So this is a, a caterpillar shed. It's pretty nice. He uses uh, these, what is this block called? Basalt blocks as the wall. It's pretty neat. We have, I think this is like a, a handicap spark spot. But uh, this is uh, pretty nice. So yeah, he does, like, if, if he uploads, or uploads, if he builds a new, uh, well, build for to be posted on, on his uh his dream dream on his uh planet minecraft site he will be putting it like right around here and you will see this in the thumbnail which is pretty neat so uh and also this little dumpster build which is uh pretty cool so we'll move on to the trains which are actually super super cool really well detailed but um these are at a pretty big scale which is fine i think it's like uh, five block wide tracks. I th so we'll start. Um, just go by row by row. Just go through them pretty quickly, or not? I guess not too quickly. So he uses, let's see, some walls instead of using um, anvil, which is pretty cool. It gives a different look, uh, which is actually I think is better than anvils a little bit, because the uh, the look here, it's a bit more narrow, like in real life, which is pretty cool. And again, yeah, this is a, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks wide. And here we have a, uh, is this Southern Pacific, maybe? No, I, I kind of don't know my trains. You know, I used to be a fan of trains. Uh, I have seen this company color scheme uh, with the orange and yellow and black. It's pretty cool, it's pretty insane detail here. Uh, he uses a lot of banners, which is neat, I think. Can you go inside? Oh, you can go inside a little bit. So the attention to detail is pretty insane here. Super immersed, I will say. So we'll, we will close this. And then here, this North Folk train, North Folk or North Floke? No, it's Fork. 
<laughs> no fork. Nor fork. No, I'm saying that wrong, definitely. But this uh, this black train, uh, the black livery with the horse. It's pretty cool. Very uh, lots of detail here. Like just that's just crazy detail. Massive scale, but it looks really good. So next here, uh, I don't know what this one is. I probably should have my phone out. Oh, here we go. Canada or Canadian Pacific. That's that's convenient. Nice, very convenient. So it's red livery. Pretty sick looking. Probably a very similar design to the North Fork. Fork. North Fork. 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 No, North Fork. I. Yeah, that's. Ignore that. So, uh, I like this way he uses the uh, the coupling. It's pretty neat. I think I will turn my render distance down again. I'll go to 15. I should be fine. I should be able to still see some stuff. Or 16. I'll do that. Anyway, yeah. It's now it's you can't see anything. So anyway, we have the some train here. Train. Some uh some what do you call, do you call this? Rolling stock. Um, pretty cool. Very. Again, lots of detail. Awesome stuff. Now, this is the same thing, but empty, as you can see. Again, the detail here is impressive. So, here we have, I guess, a European style of a train. Uh, not obviously not American. Probably like, uh, would this be like a shunter, maybe? Probably not, I don't know. Uh, still probably like diesel or something, not steam. But he does have a few steam. Oh, wait, as I say that, here's a steam, here's a steam train right here. It's pretty sick. He has uh, a big boy train or a uh, like a really I forgot that it's like an American train. It's like probably one of the biggest steam trains in the world. It's like over there. We will be having a look at that soon. So this uh, pretty cool train. And then we have this train, uh, pretty similar design. Now I probably could obviously have my phone out and just have a look at the stuff. But you guys can go onto his site and just have a look at your stuff, uh, his stuff. Um, anyway, so yeah, neat. So here. We have some more rolling stock. Pretty sick. This is uh, XPO Logistics. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And this is the same thing, but empty. Again, the detail here is pretty insane. Pretty insane. So now we have a CSX. Tra oh wait, no, hold on. We have this uh, caboose. Not really, not really caboose, but like probably like a shunter or not. Would it be a shunter. It's like probably find these in like a rail yard. Um, so, uh, pretty quick. Yeah, he has a shape down pretty good. And again, all these banners and a full on interior that you can't get inside of, probably. If you have spectator mode. Or maybe you can get inside of it. Uh, no, because of glass here. But yeah, pretty cool. So, we have a CSX train. This is uh, really good. Again, all the banners here. Uh, the blue livery. Probably an older style of train. Just look at the shape here. Um, but that's pretty cool. So now here we have a definitely European style of a train, a diesel electric or probably no electric train because the uh, the stuff here, maybe like a hybrid or something. Uh, but yeah, pretty pretty cool. So here we have another Norfolk, Norf yeah fork, Norf no Norfolk train. I think I think think so. Again, the black livery, a diesel train. I think uh, pretty sick. And then here we have a yeah again a Pennsylvania steam train. Uh, it's probably not, probably not the full name. Probably just the name of the lo locomotive uh, itself. I wonder what the full name of this thing is. Um, you probably can just look it up on this uh, on this page. Pretty cool. This is the bell, or the bell would be like here. Yeah, the bell's like here. I think. No, it's the light. <laughs> duh. Probably the bell would be like. No, the bell's here. Yeah. Duh. That's yeah. There we go. It's pretty cool. So, I guess we'll go out here, and we have a full on. Passenger train, probably a European style train. Um, I'm gonna say everything's European because I don't actually know my trains too well. But he uses the uh, the the black stone blocks instead of glass to give it the better shape. Pretty cool. And this has this this is a cool thing. So this he has full on interiors for the bigger um, size of trains he has. So or bigger scale. Can I go through here? No, that's glass. Can I, I can go through here though. Yeah, duh, it's a door. Let's go through. This is sick. This is really cool. So I can come in here. I think no, I can't. I, th I it's probably like. Hold on. No, it's above. I think so. We can go through. Yeah, here we go. This is so cool. So go through, and then here is the cabin. So sick. That is crazy detail. Now I think you can. 
Um, cause I know a few of you guys are gonna probably request some of these tutorials or some of these builds for me to do tutorials on. Um, which I will do some of them, but um, you guys can download these uh, vehicles yourself, and uh, that is just so cool. The immersion right now, full on interiors. Let me turn my volume down. Uh, we go through here to the double deck. I've only ever been on the train that has a double deck once. I've been on the top before, a metro train here in the States. Uh, it was pretty cool. That was so many years ago when I was much younger. But, um, yeah, I'll have a go. I'll look through. I'll have a look through this uh, a little bit. Um, you can see the locomotive here, the steam locomotive. Um, oh, the stairs. I can't get on the bed. It's fine. So, again, the full interior you can go through. It's super cozy. It's really cool. So, I will fly through this a little bit faster now. Come to the back. Go through the different train cars. We can see the gap here. Oh. Wait, can I get through here? Yeah, I can. So, again, the same thing. Really neat. I think, yeah, it's different, right? This is a different interior than, no, same thing. Because he might, I think he has on some of these, he has different, like, style for different classes of the interior. The separate, or to show, yeah, different classes. Like, I guess, uh, economic, or, or not, it's called, like, econ or something. Econ class. Um, or econ seats and then like luxury seats and stuff. So it's got a cool detail. This is obviously like electric or something because of the the uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is called. What is this called? I don't. It's like electric, like the, the the thing that has like the the lines on top that can go through and get power, which is pretty neat. So it's a super long train. Uh, some of these cars are different, I think. Yeah, they are. You can see the, see the detail and the roof. So we will go down. Now it's the there's a whole thing actually. It takes up the entire, um, I guess rail display. Here we have a I think Amtrak. This has to be an Amtrak, right? I think so. I don't know for sure. I think does he have signs here? No, he does not have signs. Um, but he's actually like look, look at these banners. Like he's just uh super much super detail with these banners. Um, pretty cool. So we'll go inside here again. For this, this full on door, just slide on through, or fly, yeah, fly on through. This full on interior, again, super immersed. Pretty sick. As you can see here, can I get through here? Yeah, I think. It's full on detail, super good. Let's go through. Have a seat here. What are my frames right now? 81 frames, 60 frames. I probably should drop that down. Drop the, drop the trunks down. But, uh, go through here. It's, it's uh, again, super cool. That he has all this detail for this uh, Amtrak train. I think it's the Amtrak at least. And it has a the floor goes down here, and it's uh you can exit here. So pretty sick. He goes all the way down to this point, and then he has a, another train. Uh, I have no idea what this one is. It has an interesting shape to say the least. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Red livery. Um, and yeah. So this one, this is definitely an Amtrak. It has to be Amtrak something, right? Yeah, I could look at the caboose here. It's definitely Amtrak. One of the, one of their, uh, I guess, country lines or something out here in the States to uh, it operates. But, uh, yeah, again, interior, full on. It's a bit more dark, apparently. No lighting. Uh, it's pretty cool the way that the uh, the cushions here for the banners, or the, or the banners for the cushions. Uh, but a bit more light here, though, because the, uh, the banners here. So we can just go on through here. Where's the door at? Let's find it. Here we go, the door. So, another Pennsylvania train, a locomotive. I'd have to guess it's probably like a, a yard shunter. This has to be like a yard shunter, given the shape, I think. I'm just taking a guess here. Uh, and this one is a, uh, a Hesse system. Or Hesse, right? I think. Hes no, is that H, right? So it's a Hesse. Hesse. That's, that's probably completely wrong, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, cool. Again, the uh, the rods here to to show like the I guess the railings you walk on, but uh, cool. So we have a probably more famous train that people know uh, more of. I forgot the name of this one. Is it Southern Pacific? It's like a Pacific something, I think. Pretty neat. Uh, it's really good looking. The banners here and stuff. Really cool. And then we have definitely another. Def this definitely an Amtrak. It has to be an Amtrak. <laughs> it has to be. Um, pretty cool. A pretty tall one. I mean, look at that. It's really tall. Can we come inside? No, we just have a look inside. Pretty neat. 
And this, uh, here we have a tanker, another rolling stock. Pretty cool, a black tanker, pretty common tanker. Uh, and yeah, so here we have a Japanese maybe, or I, something, I don't know, I really don't know. But uh, again, pretty cool. Uh, instead, he has this, this pink here. Uh, I guess because the livery or the train in real life has pink, I'd have to assume. It's pretty cool. Uh, and let's see, I think that's the entire thing. Yep, it is. So here on this one, we have, or let's go here. This is a, oh, a uh, kind of a Thomas Wooden Railway look looking train here. Who would this be? I think this is like, would this be Oliver? Or I think maybe? Uh, and Thomas the train? Uh, but anyway, open cab. It's pretty sick. With these, uh, this steam. Does he have a working... Yes, he does! That's actually cool! Can I grab this block? I can't grab the block. Here we go. Grab this block, too. My mouse is not working for some reason. Let's break this block. Come inside. Or, I guess I can't come inside. No, here we go. Nah. Yeah, as far as I'll go. But yeah, this is cool. He has a whole fire box. Super immersive. And a really cool look at. Like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Okay. Now... Uh, GWR train. Pretty cool. Really cool. The buffer's here. Really cool. So, let's see. We have a electric train. I'd have to assume, because the, the, uh, what is it called? I have no idea. The antennas or something? Again, full on interior. And he has actually shulker boxes um, here to show the different, the quality of the seats. Pretty cool. So, um, we can keep going here. And come to the no this is just one of those trains where it's like it has the cabs or the the caboose looking stuff as the front uh instead of like a full-on like that thing like a front pretty cool come in here and just have a look and stuff so gets keep moving because it's gonna be a long video i already know it uh here we have another train obviously double decker pretty sick two rows. He uses uh, prismarine blocks here to give a different texture of the train. And it goes all the way down to the next row. So, here, the next row. We start to get through the, or start to get to the uh, steam stuff. Now we have another, another uh, what I would call a Thomas train, a Thomas character, a diesel train, an evil diesel train. Um, pretty cool, really cool looking. Probably your, definitely European uh, train. Again, the cab here. Definitely diesel, right? Yeah, it has to be diesel. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Three wheels, um, and yeah, lots of detail. As you will know, or some of you guys, if you don't already know, Team Ronder has such, such insane detail. Uh, attention, attention to detail. I can't speak today, uh, or tonight, I guess. 1 a.m. Um, here we have a... Uh, I don't know what this actually is. Is this a electric? Because the the stuff here? Or hybrid or something? Or maybe it's not electric, it's just like diesel, but it has these uh, uh, wires for extra electric power or something. Or it's just standard wires or something. But uh, yeah, so I don't know what this actually is. I've never seen a train before, but it's cool. It's pretty cool. So here we have more rolling stock, a just a box car, pretty simple box car. Can we get inside this actually thing? Can we get inside? We can get inside. It's empty inside. Oh, a sign. Dream Wanderer was here. Pretty cool Easter egg, I guess. He was here. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's uh let's get through here. Okay, so now we have a uh a train again, obviously. This one is uh electric yet again. Pretty cool. And now yeah, I definitely probably should have my phone open or something so I can actually give you names for this stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. So here we have oh so so cool. A Japanese bullet train. A bullet. A bullet train. <laughs> so uh it's such a nice uh, sleek looking train let's go through here have a look inside and oh I can't look in here oh pretty ba pretty basic really basic oh I could oh okay uh is there two floors to this no I don't think so that's fine okay so the seats here pretty cool look at the roof here that's, that's really cool go through here Let's see. Nice seating. Really cool. Super immersed yet again. My immersion is insane. With the detail here. Now 
go through one more car. This one might be different, right? Or the same thing? Oh, yeah, it is different. Yeah. I guess it's like uh, the difference between um, econ, right? Or no, it's like economy class, the economy, um, and then like business or something. And the different, yeah, different levels of classes here. And I think it might be different here. No, the same as the first one. I think. So cool. So yeah, a bullet train. Really cool and really fast. So, uh, is that it for that one? Yeah. So here we have a steam train. This is a big, 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 big American train, I'm pretty sure. I'm giving a look at this thing. Big boy. I wish I still had these running in real life. It'd be pretty cool to see in real life. I think, uh, this is owned, this is, uh, ran by something Pacific. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Union Pacific. Thank you, Dream. <laughs> pretty convenient to read this. Union Pacific. So, a big, uh, this is the, I think the coal box, I have to assume. The coal... Yeah, the coal attachment. You have coal in here, and you just you obviously. Oh, it's empty. No coal in here. No, no coal. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> this train will not be running anytime soon. So, uh, we have the full cabin again. Super, super much, super detail in here. So, pretty cool. Uh, and here, oh, can I get out, please? Yes. Uh, what else we got here? What is this? What is this? Is this the? Is this the? Uh, yeah, it is. This. This is the. Uh, the Flying Scotsman, I'm pretty sure it's called, right? Or is that just the name of it and Tom's a Train? Again, another Tom's a Train reference. Uh, I know that in that TV show, uh, classic TV show, this was uh, called this Flying Scotsman. So, um, this also reminds me of the Lego set, the Lego Emerald Knight Train. The big wheels here, super cool. Probably one of my favorite looking trains. The two coal cars, pretty iconic. I think for a while this was actually the fastest steam train. Uh, I think so. Pretty cool. Do we have an inside here? No, it's empty. This train again is out of service apparently. Out of service. And uh, come on, Dream, gotta put the coal. Oh, it is coal in here. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Put the coal in here and get it fired up. I guess. <laughs> so uh, again, full interior and uh, firebox. Is it? Do we have a firebox? A little bit. A little bit in there. So much detail. Now, it's pretty cool. He doesn't actually have to do this because, you know, you can't see this stuff. So why would you do an interior? But he still does it anyway, which is pretty neat. Yeah, look, look at that. That's, that's just so that's just so good. That That's good. Anyway, here we have a diesel train, a modern train. A ch Oh, wait, is that? Yeah, is that Chessy then? It has to be Chessy, right? That's Chessy, not Hesse. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's a C right there. That's a C. Yeah, I didn't see that for some reason. Um, yeah, I I didn't, I'm not. There's no way. I think I'm probably butchering this name. Definitely. Chessy system. I'm trained. Orange and blue and yellow. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, wait. Can I go inside here too? Yeah, I can. Neat. Oh, hold on. What's this? Is it, is it a bathroom or something? No. Yeah, oh, well. Uh, whoa, what? It, that looks so cool from this angle. Um, with the banners and stuff. So, yeah. Neat. Again, a train. So good. Massive scale, a bit too big for my uh, my world, but uh, it is it's fine. Some people may prefer this uh, massive scale for their worlds. And uh, yeah, so here we have. Oh, this is a. Uh, uh, I'm gonna feel. Uh, I'm gonna sound a bit childish here, but this is a uh, from. What is that show? It's like. Chuggington. I think it's Chuggington, or no, it's also Thompson Train. I think this is a guy. Yeah, I think so. A character in Thompson Train, a diesel train cool uh double a double cab two cabs here pretty neat a european style train has to be european everything's european uh here we have a steam train pretty cool uh for a coal car obviously and then we have a, a tanker a white one or a silver one silver or white probably white no silver definitely because if he did if it was white it would have been uh quartz yeah and here we have a really cool diesel train uh so so cool. I like the contrast here with the rails and the wheels. Pretty cool. And uh, we have another one, similar style, a bit smaller. And then finally, we have a Amtrak Accela, Accela, right? The fast, high-speed Amtrak trains. This is uh, one of the newer ones. So, uh, if you haven't noticed, so the older of the older, yeah, the older trains he builds are over there. The new ones gonna be like in this. They're gonna be like here. So this is a pretty new one, a few months old uh, by now. Yeah, super cool. I'm actually going interior in this one, I think. Uh, 2000, 2000. Uh, yeah, Excel. Excel or is it Excel? I think it's a, just Excel, I guess, according to this banner. Um, going here, 
fly through this real quick. Uh, let's see, cool interior, and uh, yeah, this is uh, going to be a super long video. I am realizing that now. Uh, well, actually, I already knew that, but you know, it's, I want to go through this in detail. And ooh, bathroom, toilet, yes, my immersion again. <laughs> the toilet. Okay. Uh, go through here, and again, probably like a. Oh, we have chairs here now. Or I mean, have <laughs> chairs. We have a desk. No, no, a table. A table. Yeah, a table. You put your to eat and dine and uh, or just you know have a table for a train. And then we gotta go through here. So cool, 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 cool. Oh no, the last one here is this train. A pink, a magenta train. Pretty cool. Uh, where's the locomotive in this? Is it like? I guess it's like just all electric then, right? Because where is the like the is the stuff like underneath the train? Because the the whole thing's in top. Uh, the whole thing is um, hollow. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So that is that covers the train stuff. Pretty cool. A big train yard he has. And now we'll move on to cars. This stuff over here. <laughs> Alright, for parking lot 2, we'll go through here, we have a bunch of different vehicles, a bunch of different trucks. As you can see here, we'll just go through this pretty quickly here. So a few fire trucks you can see, um, and this one is a, yeah, a truck here. I thought it was a tow truck. No, tow truck's over here, right over there. So uh, here we have a, a rail, a rail truck, you can obviously with the rails here, a service truck, pretty cool. Here we have a snap-on truck or something, a dump truck and a service truck, we'll go through here. I'll probably just point out the ones I find the most interesting. A dump truck, a really cool looking dump truck. It's actually like it's spot on uh, design here, uh, or spot on uh, re replica. And then here we have some more trucks, obviously. So we have a, what is this actually? This is, what is this? It's an old, older style truck. What is, what is this? It's, I can't really tell. Fire truck maybe? Fire truck or something. Yeah, maybe a, something. Uh, tow truck. A pretty big tow truck. Interesting shape here. Pretty cool. If I keep going here. The different trucks he has. Um, really cool. Uh, here we have a boat actually. It's really, really cool. Nice size boat. Get in here and just start, you know, start swimming. No, swimming. Start not swimming because you're on a boat. Uh, anyway, a fire truck. Really cool. American truck obviously because the American flag. Freedom flag. Um, yeah, really neat. Here a uh, cement mixer, yeah, cement mixer, pretty cool, good shape here. And the whole like system you can see goes through here and it comes out. Uh, a dump truck with uh, another dump truck trailer, I guess, a dump trailer, yeah, a trailer, pretty cool. A dolly system obviously here to get it connected. Uh, what is this? A ooh, what is this? I don't have, actually know what this is. Like a water tank, like a um. A cleaning, a cleaning, uh, something, I think, to, yeah, I don't, what, are, what, are, what is this, I don't actually know, anyway, keep going here, more stuff, because as you can see, uh, here's actually, like, a pickup truck, really cool, really big pickup truck, you actually get both rows, can I look in here, I can't see through there, because the banners, I can't see, yes, I can, here we go, nope, I can't, but, yeah, interior, really cool, really, yeah, so, uh, here we have, another cement mixer and uh, uh, more more trucks here we go through this pretty quickly ooh an airport truck awesome awesome I have done a tutorial on one of them but not on this one a smaller scaled one really cool to see good shaping so let's go through here keep going got some trailers here really cool some low rider trailers or so what's this called it's not low tra not eh. it's not low rider it's like uh yeah, I know it's a uh, yellow rider, I think. I swear it's a different name for this, but oh well, it's fine. And we have like a dolly here, it's pretty cool. So, more stuff, more trailers, more trucks, more vehicles, really cool. So, uh, let's see, what, what else he has? This thing, what is, oh no, it's on this different side, we'll have a look at that later. So, here's a different size car. I think this is like a sports car, has to be, because obviously this spoiler here. Sports car of some sorts, I'm not sure what though. I can look that up. Uh, a oh, this Volvo, obviously Volvo truck, really cool. Here, more stuff. Uh, fire truck. Now he uses uh bamboo blocks to 
have to see this stuff or see to have the detail here. Bamboo actually is a pretty look, pretty good looking block, honestly, with the uh, the faithful texture pack, the uh, more the better default, I think. So here we have a taker truck and uh, some more stuff here, a trailer, really cool, or like a hopper trailer, I think, because the uh, the shaping. So actually, come and come here. Yeah, definitely a hopper trailer. Uh, it's like like a grain trailer, it's like a farming trailer, or probably a, well, it don't it don't have to be a farming trailer, but it can be uh, used for that. Let's keep going here. Uh, cement mixer again, uh, and a open kind of open trailer truck. Uh, let's see more stuff, more trucks. Can't have enough trucks, can you? Uh, ever too many trucks. A logging truck. It's pretty cool. An ambulance. A that's like a UK or like a British ambulance because the different color schemes, the yellow and blue. Uh, an old style, old fashioned uh, car here. It's pretty cool. Four blocks, no, yeah, four blocks wide instead of five blocks. A logging truck, has to be a logging truck, right? Yeah. And then that is almost, a, oh, here, a Jeep, I think, has to be a Jeep. Definitely a Jeep. Look at the, the lights here. It's pretty cool. And then here, more stuff, a fire truck, more fire equipment, and oh, this is like a uh, uh, what is like a crane to like load the stuff onto the back of this trailer, as you can see here. And then uh, we have this truck. Now this one has a different position, although like uh, on on Planet Minecraft, he has it where like this can uh stand up. I guess with these like these legs that are here, right here. It has like a like a hydraulics that I can push it up, which is pretty cool. This is like a, a Japanese uh, truck, pretty cool. So moving on to the second row, we have some more vehicles. Uh, hopefully, I'm sounding pretty good. So, cause uh, it's a lot of talking, <laughs> so I think my voice is starting to go away a tiny bit, but uh, hopefully not too much. Interesting that he uses the the oars here for this detail. Interesting. Maybe like rust, I guess. Nah, probably, probably not rust. Uh, so another tow truck here. A big tow truck, heavy duty tow truck that could tow around semi trucks. A car. Uh, I don't know what uh, what model is this. What model? I can't tell what model this is. That's fine. Really cool. A is this a? Uh, it's Megatron, right? Yes, yeah, Megatron. Hold on, it's Megatron. Transformers. Really cool. Uh, here, what is this? What in the world? Oh, it's a trailer. What type of? Wait, what is this? Look at this trailer. What is what's some of this stuff back here? That's just I gotta look that up when I uh after this video, I'll look this up because that's an interesting trailer. So here we have a cement mixer trailer. Wait, that's an actual trailer? Cause I always see these cement cement mixers as like a full truck, not like just a trailer part here. But cool. Oh, but what how do you get this? Wait, is this a yeah, it has to be like a standard banner in Minecraft, right? The globe yeah I think that has to be right I think so or it could be like a mod or something commands but anyway more trucks more vehicles this is uh what is that like a street cleaner maybe yeah no I, I think maybe uh more stuff let's see pretty cool this is like a, a farming truck kind of trailer like a hopper trailer obviously with the stuff down here to drop off grain and gravel and stuff. Uh, more fire trucks. Oh, cool! Airport truck, I think. Yeah, this one's more. This one's green instead of uh, uh, was right there, right? Is that it? No, it's like over there somewhere. Uh, it's green instead of yellow. It's a bit smaller too. More stuff here. Now this, this, this is a what is this? What even is this? It's like a a cement maybe. Like a it has like a pumps it pumps something obviously because of the this long pipe fully extended or almost fully extended or maybe it's like a drill no it's a drill it's either like a a pump or something pretty cool I got the full on uh, the beams here or support stuff but anyway if a bike is this is actually cool this is really cool you can actually write this thing boom oh yeah Motorcycle time. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, full on scale. Uh, yeah. Or no, I guess it's a bit bigger scale than the usual, but it's cool. So here we have uh some more stuff. Some more some more big trucks. This is like a 
what is this? Oh, what do you call it? A crane? A crane, right? Yeah, yeah, a crane truck here. And, uh, yeah, almost done. So, logging. A logging trailer. This is actually kind of interesting. He has his, uh, he uses trap doors. They're a bit, they're a bit hollow inside for the tree trunks. Or the logs, really. Which is an interesting design choice. Uh, here, a, see what this is, uh, uh tow truck here. Yeah. It's really cool. This is a, a pickup truck, right? Yeah, pickup, here we go. Pretty cool. Is that a Nissan truck? Nissan, maybe? Probably not. I don't know. Uh, ooh, a big, heavy duty, um, really big, really big, uh, tow truck here. Really massive. What is, what is this, then? Uh, wait, what is this? Hold on. Why is it hollow? Interesting. Probably like, probably like a carrier for something, some type of equipment. Definitely like a low, uh, a low rider, low loader kind of a trailer, something. Here we have a school bus. Really cool. With a full interior. We can go inside, I think. Yeah, American school. Wait, no, we can't. Because of glass. Oh, oh well. We can still see. Wait, hold on. Yeah, we can't go inside. Here we go. Pretty cool. Really, really cool. So here, more stuff. More. Oh, here. Oh, this is actually really cool here. So he has uh, this trailer. Um, uh, that's like fully extended for like this uh, dump truck trailer. The whole the whole wheel thing here, here too. Uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, this open the dump the uh, like it would in real life the gravity forcing this uh this uh this door to open and uh yeah a pretty tall one and let's keep going almost done here with this uh this parking lot more trucks more vehicles uh let's see more I guess fire and utility utility vehicles a cement mixer again I think yeah it has to be a cement mixer. Uh, some more trucks, semi trucks. No, this is a like a rolling stock. No, it's like a dairy, a dairy. I like I've seen this before. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like cows and horses and stuff here on the side for this. It's like painting for this uh this uh, uh this trailer. It's like a box trailer. Uh, more stuff. This has more. Look at these wheels here. Interesting. It has five wheels in the back. Five sets of wheels. And then let's keep it going here. More stuff, and uh, that covers it for all his vehicles. Oh, this one here, a excavator on the back, really cool. Without the wheels though, without the tracks, obviously being being transported. A dump truck, and a another dump truck. Oh, what what is this? Wait, is this? Oh, it's like a oh, it's tough. Okay, I didn't see it at first because uh, I had the texture pack on. So yeah, that covers it for this parking lot. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Some construction stuff, some cranes, some wheel loaders, some a bit of everything. Just some big heavy duty vehicles that you guys will be probably most interested in seeing. So first starting off, we have this wheel loader. It's orange, it's big, it has some cool design choices, and it says, uh, yeah, it's a construction site vehicle. So here, we have a Volvo dump truck. Now this is actually one of the dump trucks I'll be doing uh, tutorial on soon as you guys can probably see or not probably see but you guys can see in the request uh, stuff I've been posting this is actually a um, a pretty like a decently sized dump truck here not the massive one that you'll see like that one over there right there uh, but uh, diff a good a good size not too hard to memorize and uh, uh, yeah so here we have a excavator yeah pretty cool pretty big Pretty like maybe an old style excavator maybe old style but um yeah cool a big bucket really big bucket so um we have this a road paver I have done a tutorial on this you can find it on my channel this was actually a a bit simpler than I would have actually thought when I went to go build this uh uh to do a tutorial on not that hard not too difficult but it is pretty nice looking here we have a uh, is this Volvo? No, Caterpillar, I think. Caterpillar, dump truck. Yeah, this is one here. So this one, that one, and there is some more in the back somewhere, I think, that I'll be doing a tutorial on. So, yeah, uh, I don't know which one I'll do, but one of them I will do. Probably this one, maybe. Maybe. Here, uh, or how should I do this? I go through each, like, it's like, it's two per, like, row, kind of, and then they have this back row. But anyway, 
Uh, yeah, I'll just. Uh, no, I'll just go through. Uh, how should I do this? I go two at a time. We'll do two at a time. So we go. Come here. We're gonna come here. Um, what is this? I have, I have no idea. Actually, I have no idea what this is. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's big. It's uh, yeah. Here, a bulldozer. So mass. It's just absolutely massive. Caterpillar. I think. Yeah, caterpillar. Definitely caterpillar. Big uh, big uh. What's this called? I sh I feel so dumb right now. What what is this called? Not not a bucket, obviously. It's the pusher stuff. It's the thing that pushes stuff. It's the pusher upper, right? Something. And then here we have more bulldozers. Um, an older style of a bulldozer, pretty cool. And then uh, let's see. We here we have a forklift, forklift certified, uh, and stone. Uh, uh, interestingly, and stone for the the uh, the the build here, pretty cool. And then we have this big big crane. I know you guys have been requesting me to do a crane. I will do a crane at some point. I don't know which one of these. Um, it's actually really big. I don't think this will be too hard to do. Um, but obviously these are a bit more difficult to like memorize each layer. Uh, do we have an interior on this? Do we have an interior? Uh, I don't think. No, it's up here. Um, yeah, here we go. It's uh, really small. But uh, I can get inside, I think. You can get inside, I think. You can. I think. Somehow. Can I get a... Yeah, hold on. No, I can't. It's glass there. Oh well, that's fine. Cool. GTS um, branding, I guess. But yeah, super big. Really cool. No, I'll go through the one rows. The one rows, not two rows at a time. That's a bit easier. So here, a excavator. Really cool. Again. Oh wait, hold on. It's like a drill, drill excavator. Maybe. Or this like bucket has like a these dripstone for the drill. To yeah, that's neat. Here we got a what in the world? Why is this in the air? Wait, wait, what? Can this stand up with just these uh these two things here, or is that just like a world a world bug? Yeah, it has to be a world bug, I think. It's like a again a dump truck here again. Caterpillar. I have to assume it's caterpillar because yellow. Uh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. The big, 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 big. Um, no, it's not even that big compared to the other stuff he has over there. So this is a caterpillar dump truck. Really cool. Such good detail. The whole on steps here. Uh, yeah, look at that. Cool. Uh, let's see. Look at the dump truck part. Uh, look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Look at that. That's just so cool. So much um, uh, different kind of approach to this for the tracks, and it comes up. It comes out pretty nicely. And then we'll keep going. Um, uh, let's see. Here we go. This thing. What is this thing? I don't. I have no idea what this thing is. What? Yeah, I don't know what this is. So, uh, actually, I'm going to go through back here because it might be a bit tedious to go back and forth. Anyway, so we'll come back here. We have this, uh, um, it's like a, what is that attachment for this excavator? It's like a, like, it's like a clamp, maybe. Yeah. And then we have this, obviously, I would say caterpillar, right? Yeah, it has to be caterpillar. If it's yellow, it's a caterpillar. It has to be. I mean, it can't be. Here we have a load scraper, or just a yeah, ro no road sca scraper, not low, but a road scraper for like construction and stuff. Oh yeah, obviously, but for like uh, scraping up roads, yeah, or just it helps with making roads. Um, here a another tutorial I've done already. This crane, pretty cool, and then we have this uh, wheel loader. Not sure the brand, but uh, it is it is nice. Here we have a, another tutorial I've done already. Big mobile crane. Um, and I, this one he has, he uses cobblestone when I use andesite instead. Cause I thought andesite looked a bit better for my, uh, for in my view, I think. Uh, these banners, um, I never was able to figure this out on my own with these banners, I think. Or no, was it this one? No, no, it's not this one. I don't think so. No, because uh, some some banners he has, I just can't like figure them out. I just kind of like do them, but they're not perfect. They're not exactly like, like it was on his build. Anyway, we have this uh, again. Yeah, tutorial. I've already done this, this on this one. Um, yeah, it's a uh, yeah caterpillar, caterpillar, definitely, <laughs> definitely a caterpillar. Um, and then we have this this bucket crane or yeah crane. 
That's a crane, right? Yeah, it's a crane, I think. Caterpillar, of course. Caterpillar. Um, yeah, really massive, really big. Here we have again a another big crane. Uh, and then we have this this um, dump truck. Uh, is this bigger than that one? I think it is. Yeah, this has to be bigger than that one. Definitely bigger. It's uh, a mining truck. Now, actually, it probably will be a bit simpler to build because it's just mostly blocks. But the blocks are in kind of a weird shaping to try and memorize. Uh, but that's eh, fine. I mean, one day, one day I'll do it. Uh, here we have two smaller ones. Uh, this will probably like an older style one because the wheels are so so narrow. And then we have this one. Um, both of these are caterpillar because I think they are. Or let's see, yeah, has to be caterpillar. Definitely caterpillar. Wait, how did wait, how did he do this? How did he? Wait, what? Hold on. Let me check this. How, how in the world? How do you? How do you do that with a banner? <laughs> it does. There's no way I'm doing that. It's just like there's no way I'm gonna figure that out by myself. That's actually that's crazy. I it has to be command. It has to be commands. There's no way that's not. Uh, anyway, we have this uh, crane. Uh, it's an interesting crane. Uh, it's, it's probably this one probably does not move all that much because uh, the platform here uh, probably just only rotates, which is fine. Uh, it's absolutely massive. It's pretty, well, not that massive compared to uh, this one right here, uh, the white one. Now we have this one with the the, the the crawler tracks here. Pretty neat. A southwestern. Interesting. Uh, M. It's an M <laughs> for branding. Uh, neat. Yeah, this crane. Massive, massive crane. It takes up two rows of parking spaces. Or... No, not two. Well, yeah, two rows, but it has, what's this, six. No, hold on. Yeah, that's 12, 12 parking lots. Crazy. Big. Go all the way up here. Massive. Look at the detail here. Crazy stuff. It's absolutely big. Yeah, big is just a understatement. Just, uh, yeah. Here, more stuff. So we have some more uh, builds. We have a, another build I've done tutorial on. This, uh... Caterpillar drill excavator. Now with this one, he has he used bamboo, but I did not switch to 1.20 until like last week, a few days ago. So uh, mine is in the, well for the tutor tutorial. Mine is in um, birch, but it's fine. Although I think bamboo works a bit better here than than birch. That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Here we have some more stuff. We have a smaller bulldozer. Pretty cool bulldozer. We got this thing. Uh, no idea what this is. I think it's a road scraper. Scraper of some sorts. It's green though, so... Uh, yeah. Here we have a forklift. Or no, it's a telehandler, but you know, you could you could almost call it a forklift. Pretty cool. Now here we have a... Uh, what in the world? It's a weird looking cab. Wait, no. Is this... How do you... How do you drive this thing? Is it remote control? I, probably not, but yeah, interesting. Uh, here we have a backhoe, pretty cool, pretty neat. And uh, let's keep going. We got this thing. It's uh, pretty similar with uh, this uh, that platform you see there to the the white. No, yeah, the white one here and the one over there, the blue one, the white one. They're yeah, blue and white. Pretty cool. Big bucket, big bucket. Uh, here we have a, it's yellow, so it has to be caterpillar, surely. <laughs> nah, probably not. But, uh, yeah, a crane, a mobile crane of some sorts. Then we got this road scrapper. Oh, scrapper, it's scraper. Pretty sure it's scraper, not scrapper. But that's nah, whatever. I'm, I'm probably mispronounce it every time. Uh, and then we have a bulldozer. A small bulldozer. Old style bulldozer, I'd have to assume. Get inside. Get inside? Get inside? Yeah, we can't get inside. Yeah, there we go. My immersion. Look at that. Pretty cool. Now we got some smaller stuff here. We got this uh this uh excavator, a smaller one. We got this what in the world? What is this? No idea. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, here we go. A what's what's this called? Skid skier. Skid ske oh my god, skid steer. Um this is a requested tutorial by one of you guys. I will do this one. 
He, he has a few different ones, but they're pretty cool. Really nice and small. Not too hard to do for a tutorial. And uh, yeah, here we got a crane. Uh, yeah, a crane. Yeah, uh, here we have a a crane, a big crane, a Marion crane. Uh, yeah, Marion, Marion, Marion. Yeah, crane, big crane. Uh, big and green. Surely it's a planet-friendly crane, electric crane. Probably not electric, but you know. Uh, now we have some more caterpillar stuff because if it's yellow, it's a caterpillar. Uh, we got this forklift that I will be doing a tutorial on actually after after this video coming out on uh if I, if this video comes out on Wednesday, so tomorrow for me, uh then this will come out on Saturday, yeah Saturday, and then I'll have actually a tutorial on different containers following that. So on like what was that on Tuesday, yeah, the following Tuesday. Now we got uh, some more stuff here. A crane. This I would do a tutorial on. I would because it's a bit smaller. It's not too difficult to do. Uh, it looks pretty nice. Now we have some more. This is a caterpillar because obviously it has to be a caterpillar because um, it's yellow. So here again a dump truck. Yeah, dump truck. Like a, probably got a mining truck. Like a like a yeah. Um, yeah, mining truck. So, now we have this thing. I'm not sure what this is, but it is cool. Then we have this, uh, mobile crane? Mobile something. Uh, with a cab here on the side. Yeah. So where's the, uh, probably, yeah, probably a crane. Safe bet, say it's a crane. And then we have some more stuff. We have this crane. A bit smaller. Good size. Pretty cool. And uh, oh, interesting blocks here. He has a uh, regular blocks, regular, uh, regular glass, and then clay. Neat interior, a little bit. And then we have this mobile crane. Um, wait, why the why the banners? That's a that's a goof, maybe, or it's not. Maybe, maybe it's intentional. It has to be intentional. If it no, no, it's not. Okay, I'll fix that actually. I will fix this. Wait. Hold on. Let's see. Can I grab it? I can't grab it. There we go. Yeah. About to say, that's not intentional. Yeah, cool. Here we go. Fix it. Thank me later. Thank me later. Uh, <laughs> so we got this mobile crane. We have some more stuff. Uh, yeah. No, I've already seen this. We have this thing. Lastly, we have this big blue crane. Massive crane. Look at that. I, I, well, probably not. It's probably just called an excavator, not crane. I call everything a crane, but it's, I mean, that part's a crane, definitely. It's a crane part. And uh, yeah, that covers it for this stuff. It comes out so far, you can't even see the other stuff um, over there. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on. All right, for the second row, we got this uh, dumb truck of some sort. What even is this thing? Such a weird looking truck. <laughs> look at the look at the tires on this thing. Got uh, got six of them. Five. I can't count. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, green. It's a ETF. 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 What is this? ETF. Dump truck. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, here we got a, uh, a thing. Uh, what is this? What, you, what is this? What, what in the world? A crane. Because it's a crane. It has this thing. It's got to be a crane. No way. Here. Ooh. Big. Big, 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 big mining or, yeah, a mining, um, wheel loader. Absolutely massive. Really cool. It's a caterpillar has to be a caterpillar. It's yellow. It's a caterpillar. Yeah, it has to be because these banners are pretty similar to what he usually does for caterpillar bills. Uh, here we have a... What's this called? Oh, I forgot the name. I forgot. I forgot. It's uh, it's like for the shipping stuff. Uh, you can have containers under here. Oh, I forgot. I have done a tutorial on this. Uh, or not on this one in particular, but I have done like a build similar to this. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so here we got... Uh, no, my bad. Here we have a big mining uh excavator excavation probably an interior on this thing has to be an interior somewhere here we go a cab no controls though no controls how are you supposed to control the thing he's just gonna stay in that spot oh well that sucks uh anyway <laughs> no, no, I'm, sorry. I'm just joking but um got some smaller stuff here we got a backhoe i have done tutorial on this one uh yeah uh let's see 
a dump truck, a small one. Uh, we got this interesting logging system of, of a thing. We have this, uh, oh, what is this called? What, what is this called? I should know what this is called. I forgot. A boom, a boom lift. Yeah, boom lift. The boom lift. Yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. We have this one. That is the, I think it's the same one. It's the same one. It's the same, the same boom lift, but this one has, uh, it's folded. It is folded instead of it being extended. Pretty neat. Uh, and then we have this, uh, this thing. Oh, it's a, it's a paver. It's like a concrete something paver. Has to be because of this, uh, this part right here. It comes inside. Uh, I'd have to get. I don't really know. I just have to guess. I think this is a blue excavator. Blue, cool. This is a uh, a, a clamp. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Something. We have a excavator again with, the, with this uh. The skull blocks to show the like the inside of it, which is neat. And then, uh, wait, is this on? Yeah, I'm, I'm on this side. This side. I'm on this side. I'm on this side. Okay, here we have uh, this uh, excavator. And we got some more stuff. We got a bulldozer. No, sorry, wheel loader. Uh, we have a excavator again. Can never have too many. Uh, we got this thing, old style excavator, I think. And we got a bulldozer, caterpillar, has to be a caterpillar. Uh, and then this one, a crane. A medium a medium sized crane. Sorry. Uh this is a a mining something that you use like a, in the mines, the old stuff. Uh like underground stuff. And then we have a forklift, forklift certified. Forklift here right here. Caterpillar forklift. Has to be caterpillar. Uh then we have this um, what what the what what is this? What in the world? What is this? No idea. Or is this like a a road paver of some sort? Maybe, maybe I don't know. Uh, this is a road paver, I think. Concrete paver. Then we have a another. Wait, what? So we have another uh boom lift. Is that the same one as the ones over there? I can't. I can't really tell. Is this the same? Or is it? Wait. Is that the same? Yeah, it has to be the same thing, right? I think so. It's the same build twice. Or I'm blind. It's actually different. Wait, trapdoor is there. What about? Yep, same build. Has to be, I think. Interesting. Is that a misclick dream wanderer is that a misclick they've done over there yeah it's a misclick has to be a misclick uh here we have a tutorial done and this is, a, this is actually a good example i was talking about these banners i completely butchered in the actual tutorial i did they're not even really close honestly they're just kind of somewhat there but not all, all the way there but it's fine or maybe it is maybe maybe it's not fine maybe it's not oh, it's whatever um yeah it's a uh a boom lift and then we have a cat uh but yeah, caterpillar, caterpillar. Um, uh, ooh, what's this called? Uh, uh, what's this called? Wait, no way. Uh, I forgot. I I forgot. That's fine. Um, here we have um, a dump truck. This is a. This is not a caterpillar. It's not a caterpillar. It's not. We have this thing. It's uh It's it's something. I'm not sure what this is uh, actually. Paver, maybe. It has to be paver, maybe. Uh, then we got a, a big crane. Like I've already showed you, I think. I've already gone through this, right? Yeah, I've already gone through this. Then we got this thing here. Uh, and that is it for this side. That's it, right? I think. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. I already covered most of the stuff already. So yeah, moving on to the agricultural stuff. <laughs> Now for my favorite type of build, most or is it my favorite? Yeah, my favorite type of Minecraft build. We have some agricultural builds. We have this chrome baler. That's pretty uh, familiar on this channel, I think. I've kind of seen this before. I think I've seen this before on my channel. I think so. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Here we have another baler, a New Holland baler. Um, 
Pretty cool. We got this Massey Ferguson tractor, or, uh, sorry, uh, combine harvester. That's harvesting corn, I have to guess, because of these, uh, these stubs here. And then we have a John Deere, John Deere, uh, tractor. And then we got this John Deere forge harvester. Again, a pretty big, uh, big scale. This stuff is, uh, bigger than my scale that I usually do. I call this scale the dream scale. My scale stuff is usually like a, uh, like if I were doing tractor, if I was doing like a big tractor, my stuff would be like a, gonna be like a, a four blocks wide. And his stuff is like probably five to seven blocks wide, which is fine, which is fine. Looks good, looks good. And we got this, not Massey Ferguson, not Mas no, I don't think so. It's something else. I don't know what this is exactly, but it's cool. I got dual wheels. Uh, yeah, really cool. Here we have a potato, 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 planter. You guys have probably seen this already on my channel in Maple Valley. And we got this uh, uh, New Holland uh, Forge Harvester front attachment for like mowing grass. Uh, and this one is for cutting corn. It's New Holland, which is actually my favorite tractor brand, New Holland. It's pretty yellow, which is why I like it. Oh, look at this. Look at, look at this. That's actually really cool. How do you do this? That's actually really cool. Um, for that logo. And then here we have a loading wagon. Really cool. Old style loading wagon, I think. Older style. Then we have, uh, uh, should I go through this row? Uh, I think, I'll do it too. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through this row. So we have a, a Massey Ferguson, um, tractor, little tractor, open wheel tractor, open wheel, open cab tractor. We got this, uh, this thing. It's like a really big thing wood chipper maybe no something uh we got a uh not massey ferguson for sure not sure what this is uh fent tractor those two are tractors of course but uh we got this fent one pretty cool oh, no sorry class 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 uh then we have this um this crane yep has to be a crane uh and then come down here let's see what we got here a uh, Massey Ferguson sprayer, uh, really cool, a fully extended, really cool, and then we have a, what is this, oh, uh, I have no idea, <laughs> I don't know, uh, we have this Massey Ferguson combine harvester, this is from Farming Similar 17, I'm pretty sure, so I have driven this thing in Farming Similar 17, it's pretty cool, throwback, throwback, um, we have this John Deere sprayer, looks familiar, Looks familiar. Might have done tutorial on this. Might have done it. Not sure. Have to double check. Maybe. Uh, fully extended. And then we have. Oh, what is this? I've seen this on his uh, on his page. I have seen it. I've seen the name for it, but I just forgot the name. I forgot once again. Uh, it's a combine harvester for sure. I think it's like a. Ooh, what is this? Like an olive? No. It's like a. It's a different plant. I don't know exactly, but it's a different plant for sure. Uh, a case. IH. Quad track tractor. A big tractor. Quad track. Quad tires. Or sorry. Quad. Yeah. Quad tracks. No duh. Um, activator. And then we have a John Deere. Like a. What do you, what do you just call it? Like 6R? I kind of forget the name for the stuff when it has the tracks that are like this. Um, I've always found these tracks to be a massive pain to drive with equipment uh, attached to them and like the farming simulator game so I never really use them that much that's fine uh, Massey Ferguson for sure Massey Ferguson again and then back here we got a wood chipper I like, nice I like this build it's a very compact build easy to do a tutorial on uh, yeah and then we have this uh, oh I already, saw, I already saw that so we have this uh, JCB Fast track tractor, really cool. John Deere, um, uh, what's this called? I forgot. I forgot. But I have used this in the farm simulator games. It's a really cool little vehicle. Then we have this like generator, like a AS something, something, something like a yeah. Interesting use of the pots here. I forgot about the update. This uh, one point twenty update with the uh, paleontology stuff, uh, archaeology stuff. 
Uh, let's see. Have we got this thing? I don't know what this is actually. Not sure. Probably a logging equipment piece. And then we have a crone. Uh, let's see, crone. Oh, mower, crone mower. And it has the droop here. It has like the uh, the uh, the different change and elevation here. Really cool. And then we have a uh, caterpillar. Caterpillar has to be a caterpillar uh, vehicle with a class behind it. And this Massey Ferguson tractor. Sorry, uh, combine. Uh, and then we have um, this thing. It's like a. It's like actually. I actually asked him about this. What exactly this is? Um, uh, it's like a. Uh, like a forestry thing. I think it helps with it's, it's something with forestry. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool. Now, moving on to the next row. Row two. Here we go. Again, a tutorial. I think I've done this. One. I think I've done it. I don't know. That is sarcasm, by the way. For those last few, I've, I've uh, said that for. I have done a tutorial on this already. Forestry. I don't have too many forestry builds though. I quite like forestry stuff, but. Uh, it's not very requested all that often. Really, really never actually. But it's fine. So it's, uh, it's, you, you always have time to do this uh, at some point. Some stuff like that. Um, again, forestry. This is a John Deere. I'd have to guess. It's green. Got to be John Deere. Because what else is green? What else? What other agricultural build is green? Or sorry, equipment piece is green. Again, John Deere. John Deere. John Deere tractor. And we have a uh, New Holland T8 tractor big really cool it has the this uh, articulation in the center and then we have this case a h mag mag uh the the mag series the mag magnum maybe i think uh then we have this big class um sprayer really cool really big but really cool uh and then we got some uh, we have some New Holland stuff on the side here. So you have some New Holland attachments for this New Holland uh, tractor. Or, jeez. Uh, uh, combine. Here, Massey Ferguson tractor. Old style. Got the detail in here. Uh, we can get inside this thing and start uh, going around the fields. And then here we have a uh, combine harvester that I have done a tutorial on. Uh, we have the different uh, attachments. We have the, the grain and we have the corn or sunflowers. Then we have uh, what is this? So this is for the um, th uh, there for this one for the Mag the Massey Ferguson combine harvester right here. We have the the corn header, a small corn header, and then this wheat corn header. Okay, sorry, the grain corn header. Or wait, what am I saying? The the wheat no the the grain the grain uh uh header. And then we have this cultivator. I do plan on doing a tutorial on this at some point. It is on my list. It's just I haven't gotten to it. So, but it's a really cool cultivator. It's really cool. Uh, Fent tractor, really cool. Again, big dual wheels. Interesting. Then we have a uh, sprayer, fertilizer sprayer, or yeah, cedar sprayer. Yes, yeah, sp uh, sprayer. Then we have a auger wagon. Uh, pretty cool looking one. Lots of detail. Then we got this cultivator that's actually folded. Such a nice, really cool. They actually has the uh, both configurations for this stuff, the folded and then the un and the uh, unfolded. Uh, really cool to have both the option to build it. And then we have a big bud. Really cool. Big, big, big. I keep saying really cool a lot. Sorry, but uh, it's a bit of a habit. And now we have uh, the folded of the John Deere sprayer. Then we have more John Deere stuff. John Deere front um front uh, uh corn header grain header john deere um tractor john deere uh, uh forestry wood cut it machine and then uh let's actually come back over to the front here i kind of forgot about this uh, this part here we have a um wait a very no what am i doing there we go again i, I did it the first time when i was over there the construction stuff did it again. So here, uh, let's see. Keep going. We got this thing, uh, like an old school, old school tractor. It's actually massive. This thing, for some reason, but it's really cool. Then we have, uh this is a different brand. It's not. This is, I see Ferguson. No, 
I don't think it is. I don't think this is. This is the same brand as the stuff that was over. Uh, that was there. No. I don't know where it's at. Actually, no. It's like the same brand as that. Maybe I don't know. I forgot. Uh, John Deere. John Deere Harvester. This thing uh, is for that stuff, or that that stuff is for this thing. Yeah. Uh, then we have uh, this. Ah, what is this? Yeah. What? What in the world? No idea. Uh, then this is a uh, bucket uh, excavator. Really cool. And uh, let's keep moving. So we got this like generator, like an engine of some sorts, an engine for something, some, something big. That we have a. Ooh, this might be John Deere, honestly. If it's not John Deere, it's a caterpillar. It might, it might be John Deere. I have a feeling it is John Deere. This is a really cool logging equipment piece. Absolutely massive. Then we have Massey Ferguson again, I think, or it could be a Case I age. I'm not sure. Wait. No, McCormick. Yeah, wow. Thank you. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong on that one. Uh, let's see. Um, I got that wrong by a long shot. A little bit. Uh, then we have a Kloss. A class, A Kloss. John D Oh, my God. Kloss uh, Combine. Cool. Get inside. Cool. Now we have uh, a New Holland Fast Baler. A big baler. Really cool. It's It, uh, it bales. Wait, what the? Oh, it's a globe. My bad. So this is a um, in a red livery because they used to do this because like it's like a New New Holland does red and blue for their stuff because it's like I guess a homage or to pay homage to like the older equipment pieces they had. But uh, this is a uh, it posts out. Oh my god, posts. It makes square bales, which is cool. Uh, this is a over here a New Holland T eight I think maybe. Uh, yeah. Then we have a cultivator, really cool. This is a, a newer build, and it has these pots. He uses pots to kind of get some better detail in there. Looks good. Then we have a baler, square baler, a small square baler. I have to assume it's square, given the shape of this. And then it's a, uh, ooh, what is this? A tractor of some sorts. I'm not sure of the brand, but it's cool. Uh, and yeah, that is it for this uh, agricultural stuff. And then moving on to the planes and stuff. Now here we go, aviation stuff, aviation, some big planes, some small planes, some helicopters, some Vietnam War stuff, um, so what's that song called, what, what is that song called, it's Vietnam, it's like a, it has a good tune to it, it's a really recognizable tune, uh, oh, uh, what, how did, I can't, I for, I forgot, that is crazy, I have it in my head, I, uh, oh well, I forgot, so anyway, uh, aviation stuff, some big stuff and some small stuff. So here we go. So we got this plane, probably World War Two, World War One plane, really cool. And we got this helicopter again, Vietnam War. It has this like song. Fortunate, yeah, there we go. Fortunate son, fortunate son. Yeah, there we go. F almost forgot completely. Is that a French flag? I, I'm probably really stupid right now, but is that French? I, <laughs> maybe. Wait, uh, I, I don't know. It might be, I, I assume it's French, but it might not be French. Uh, let's see. Uh, helicopter, a small one. Get inside. Immersion again. My immersion. It's just crazy. Get in here. I'll be flying. Uh, I have to assume the real, the real one has doors because it's actually a bit scary if it's just open like this. What if you just like decide to just walk out? And just, well, maybe it has seat belts. It probably has seat belts. It probably has seat belts. <laughs> then we have this Boeing. Uh, no, no, no. McDonald Douglas. DC-10 or DC-11, uh, I think it's one of the two, and the American Airlines livery. Interesting. It's a very big plane. Got the engines. It has three engines, which is the cool part about it. But this plane uh, is not very good. It has a not very healthy history for crashes, unfortunately. It's a very crash pone, crash, yeah, crash pone plane in the past. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at the interior, actually, real quick. Let's see. It goes all through here. Um, again, uh, Boeing has the, actually, I wonder if it's better if it's like this, because the yoke is like that, but oh well, it's fine. 
Then we have go to the interior. It's purple for some reason. Were they purple in actual real life? I don't think so. I don't think they're purple. Not sure. I don't know. Anyway, keep going. We have some different uh, blocks for different um, uh, different uh, chairs, I guess. And again, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty simple. Got the wings here. Or emergency exit. Really cool. And uh, yeah, get the engine back here. AA American Airlines. Really cool. It's got the uh, the uh, PC unit or something, whatever it's called, for like. The, the stuff, yeah, or no, it's just the engine, Mac, I guess, uh, whatever, it's fine, uh, no, I think it would be up here, if it's, if it's like the unit for the, yeah, here we go, the unit for like the, the, I don't know, the AC or something, I'm not sure, I kind of forgot, uh, anyway, we got, uh, some more stuff on the other side, we have a, uh, military helicopter, um, obviously, and like a white, a tan, oh, sorry, not white, a tan, tan, tan color, uh, interior, interior. Let's see. Have a look. Yeah, interior. A little bit. Oh, cool. A, a whole drop thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Open on the back side, I guess. Uh, as you can see, the actual some Star Wars stuff. Get to in a bit. Uh, now we'll close this. Come outside. Oh. Oh, I can't. No, here we go. I can. Here we go. I can. I can get through the other side. Now, let's move on. We have this Airbus A380. Cool. Really cool. Massive scale, big engines, uh, big landing gear. And we'll have a look at the interior because it is double decker in real life, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, I can't go through it. I can't. No. Uh, no, this side, right? Oh, uh, this side. No, I can't. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just, uh, can I? No. I'll, I'll just, don't look. Boom. This is a, I think, is the top of the, is the top of the Airbus, is it usually like first class or something? It might be first class. I have to assume it's first class. I'm not really sure about that though. But yeah, super cool interior. The stairs here. For the economy class, I'd have to assume. Come to the front. Uh, to the... Oh, okay. Wow, I suck at this. There we go. The cockpit. Really cool. Uh, now we can go through to the back. I'll look at it for a second. Uh, all the way. Let's see. This the back. Got the bathrooms. And that is it. All right, moving on to. Oh wait, this is in the uh, the uh, the launch livery for Boeing, the white and the blue. Anyway, we got some more stuff. We have this thing. I have. It's like a. It's like a a, a plane that can go in the water. Um, one of those planes, probably like a fire rescue plane or something. Not sure what the uh, the brand is though. Interesting shape though too. The uh, whole thing. And then we'll we'll see. Uh, we have a black bling. Oh my god, black bling. Black wing. The, yeah, it's called CRJ, CR something black wing. CR jet black wing or something. But yeah, super sleek, super cool. Then we have a Boeing 747. British Airways. Oh, have a look at the interior. Go through here real quick. Oh, okay. That's fine. Look at, oh, look at this. Look at the, uh, the droop on the landing gear. Really cool. Really immersive. My immersion. Let's uh, go through. Uh, have a look real quick at these uh, at the interior. All the way down, the same thing. Let's uh, have a go. Up. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Let's have a look at the uh, look at the first class. Let's see here. Are these like machines for like the fl uh, flight attendants? I guess maybe. Um, very few seats up here. And then the cockpit. Awesome. Now let's uh keep going. Let us uh let's see. Here we go. Let's head over to some more military style stuff. So we have uh, uh a military plane of some sorts. Not sure what this is exactly, but it is cool. 
Interesting folding wings and landing gear in the middle. It kind of looks like it would fall over because the landing gear is like the really skinny landing gear. Or sorry, really narrow plain body but then wide wings. Kind of seems top heavy or side heavy if that makes sense. Uh, probably, maybe not, I guess not, but oh well. Um, a Cessna plane, really cool. Now we have a Black Hawk, pretty sure, Black Hawk helicopter, pretty famous helicopter. And then we have a, another helicopter. Like, and then we have, oh, a plane. I've seen that before. This plane, on my channel, I think. On my channel, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Yes, that's not playing, and then that's it. I think so. And then, uh, no, oh, here we go. Helicopter. It's like a modern style helicopter. Really cool. I like the rotary blades on this side. This uh, on this thing. Uh, yeah. Interior. You can see a little bit. Neat. So that is all of it for a. Oh, here we go. Uh, a jet. A jet. Not sure what this exa exactly. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm not sure actually what this jet is. I don't think F-16. It might be an F-16. I don't think it is though. But uh, yeah. Anyway, moving on to military stuff. Or no, Star Wars. Yeah, no, military. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, some Star Wars, some Empire Strikes Back stuff, I think. Maybe not, I'm not really too sure. So, for Star Wars, I'm not a super geek, but I do like Star Wars. I do, I have seen the video, oh, videos, the movies, I have seen all of them, I think, most of them. Aside from some of the sequel stuff, because the sequel stuff, let's be honest, is just pretty bad. It's just straight up bad. But anyway... Um, we have this, um, yep, I don't know, <laughs> I've kind of already forgotten what this is exactly, uh, it's from the, ooh, prequel, maybe stuff? Uh, no, I, yeah, I don't know exactly, like, my favorite stuff for Star Wars is usually just the, uh, it's the prequel stuff, it's like the, uh, the, uh, what's the, what's the movie called, the Phantom Menace, I like the Battle Droids, I like the Separatist Army, I like the, um, trade federation stuff this i have no idea what this is actually i bet you star wars fans that are watching or any star wars fans that are watching could probably point this out and say what this is but i'm not too sure so here we have uh a jedi something jedi ship of some sort i've seen it before i've seen the ship uh but i just don't remember this thing i have actually no idea what this is um another ship but i don't know exactly what this is this for the Repub I. I'm not even gonna try and guess for this stuff, but it is really cool. Now we got some. I think I, I could have sworn. Is this like an Empire Strikes Back type of thing, or is this like I think because I've seen this ship. I think it's like I th I think I've seen this like white. I've, I've seen it, so it's like uh, the Jedi's have driven this or flown this, uh, and also the dark. Uh, what's that stuff called? <laughs> the uh, what's it called? The red lightsabers, the the bad force, the dark force, dark force, dark the dark side. I'm sorry, the dark side, dark side. So I've seen this ship for both sides, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Uh, and here we have a droid, one of the uh, Clone Wars droids, I think. I'd had to assume it's Clone Wars, with this shape. I think it's Clone Wars. Uh, and then we here we have this. Oh, it's cool. This is folded up. The same thing, but folded. Interior, interior. Here we go. Not much, but it is cool. Uh, here, uh, I uh, it says Clone Wars, but I don't know the name. It's like AT S. It's like AT something, AT T E or something. Uh, again, yeah, Clone Wars. I have had this thing as a Lego set when I was young. One of the like 2015 Lego sets. Uh, when it came out, it's really cool. It didn't last very long though. I had it. I built it. Uh, got it for Christmas, I built it, and then it kind of got destroyed at some point. But it was cool to have. There's a new one out on market right now. Uh, it's like a couple hundred bucks, but or or something like that. But it is uh, pretty neat. So here we here we have a droid. It's the same thing I think as that thing. Yeah, same thing, but much bigger. Uh, Clone Wars droid. I had to assume. Now move on to this. Here we have a uh, lethal company. 
for the company uh, uh, ship. Now, for this interior, I made a mistake. Here, I did everything but without the orange banners. And you need the orange banners to give it the complete look of the uh, the clothed rack. Um, but I kind of forgot that about that. And also this like conduit, I forgot about this to put it in. Because I didn't see it in the pictures on his dream on his uh, Planet Minecraft uh, page. But uh, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. And then, come out here. We have a... Like something, it's bad probably. A cannon, probably like a, a, a like a droid something. Um, now we got this thing. I've uh, again, I probably should know the name of this stuff, but I don't know exactly. I've seen it before. I just don't remember the name. Cool ship. Now we've got uh oh the uh, Republic gunship, an older one. I think that he's done. Uh yeah, neat. Now we got this, uh, what is this? I have no idea what this is. Uh, I've seen it before, again. i see most of the Star Wars ships, so I just don't remember the names. Uh, here we have a big droid. I think it's a droid, it has to be a droid. It's a bad thing. Massive, evil, evil, evil. Is it an interior? Is it an interior? It's not, that's fine. Uh, yeah, really cool. Big, has three legs. Here, we got like a Naboo ship. No, not Naboo. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is cool. It just reminds me of the Naboo stuff. Of like the uh, the, uh, the star fighters and stuff. But uh, yeah, that is all for Star Wars. And moving on to military stuff. <laughs> Alright, so some military. War zone. War zone. No, World War Two. World War One, and some Civil War stuff. I have to assume we got going here. So, first off, we have a tank from. I've seen this flag. I don't know the name. I don't know, but it is a cool tank. I like, I like the mud bricks. Bricks. Wow, wow. Uh, the mud bricks here, or mud, packed mud. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's really cam. It's camouflage worthy. Or that sounds really weird. That it's camouflaged. It's cool. We have this tank. Uh, I don't know. Is that the Star of David? That's probably not the Star of David, but it's a cool tank. So here we have a missile thing. Uh, a mobile missile carrier that shoots missiles, obviously. And then we have a more uh, another tank. Really cool. Out of wood, instead. Then we have a a truck. For, for war, I think. Or, yeah, it has to be for a dump truck. Dump truck. A war dump truck. Yeah, right? Uh, more stuff here. Again, uh, uh, yeah, I think I've done a tutorial on this one. No, it's on the one there. That's, yeah, I've done that one. I've not done this one, though. It's similar, but not the same. More tanks. This one I have the tutorial on. It's like a, a, a ship, or sorry, a boat. Um, that they use to like go on the beaches to come from the ocean. It's cool. Here we have like a missile thing. Is this on, is this for like a ship type of thing? Is this found like a, on a ship? I I had to assume it is, or no? Maybe it's just like a ground to air missile system, probably. Then we have more. What what is this actually? What is it's like? Oh no, it's like World War One cannons. I think yeah, maybe. But the wheels here. The old style wheels with the cannon. Uh, here, Santa Slay. Reindeer. Where's Rudolph? Where's Rudolph? I can't tell where Rudolph is at. Maybe not. Maybe 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 he died. He's like not here anymore. Uh wait no. Is this Santa? No. Wait, what? This is Santa's thing. This is Slay. Is it? No, or is this like a is this? No. No, it's not. It's probably not Santa Slay. My bad. I, it's probably... I mean... It's probably not. I, it might be. I don't know. I gotta check that. Uh, a tank. And then here. Moving on to the back. Uh, I could've swore. That's not Santa's workshop. Or, sorry, workshop. Santa Slay? I don't... It might not be. I'm not really sure. Uh, we have some more tank stuff. Or, sorry, some more um, uh, military stuff. We got this tank. We got this 
ambulance. Somebody call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> uh, then we have, ooh, this thing. I've seen it before. It's a cool military thing. Uh, I think it's like, like a Transformers type of thing. I could have sworn, um, what's that character called? The Optimus, Fi uh, Optimus Fine, Optimus Prime absolutely destroyed um, in the first movie, like 20 or 2000 something, 2006. Uh, I forgot his name. That's fine. Uh, tank, I have to assume. A tank, again. Tutorial on my channel. Uh, excavator. Excavator. Cool. Maybe, well, probably something different, but, you know. Uh, truck here. Uh, do we have a tank? A big tank? And then a... Is this a realistic tank? Is this like a fantasy tank? It's like a... It might be it's probably, probably a real tank, probably, most likely, but... It, it's interesting. It looks futuristic, for sure, for sure. But yeah, that's it for his military stuff. Moving on to the ships. <laughs> All right, the ships, the boats, the submarines, the action, the cool stuff. Uh, this is all cool, but of course, the big stuff. So here we got, I I kind of, when I see this, I see, I think of the Missouri ship, the USA ship. Um, not from Battleship, surely not from Battleship, but uh, the, not the movie, but the, the ship. Well, that's a, that's a lie, it's a big lie actually. It's from the, I think of it from the movie, but yeah, cool ship. Lots of detail here. Make big detail. Is that like a center, like, interior? Probably not. I don't blame him for no interior. Because, I, I mean, that's absolutely massive stuff. But, uh, yeah, we got some some cannons here. Big cannons. Time to get obliterated by some cannons. And then we got uh, some small ones, some small gunner stuff. Uh, let's just see. Oh, interior, maybe? Nah, not interior, no interior. That's fine. That is fine. That is excusable. It's a massive build. Some more, lots of details here. Again, you guys can check this out on, uh, in his world. On, it, on the, sorry, on the, uh, the, uh, Planet of Minecraft post he has that has this link. Also, mine, I'm not sure if it's said in this video yet, but my, uh, oh, look at this little plane. My, uh, uh, this world, I have it. It's an updated version of the. Well, it's like it's a. Uh, it's like a week or so old compared to the few months old download he has on Planet Minecraft. So, here we have a small, small, small boat. That is, I plan on doing a tutorial on this at some point as well. But it is a cool build. A uh, cool little build. Nice uh, little boat. That you've probably seen like city harbors and stuff. And we have a submarine here. Uh, oh, what, what is this block? What is that? Huh. Should, should, should that be there? No, probably not. I'd have to guess it's not supposed to be there. Maybe it is. Maybe like a little detail. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Uh, let us go around to the interior. Here we go. Super cool. Oh, this by glass. Look through here, see the stuff. Then come. Oh, okay. Can I? There we go. Can I go to the top through this? What is, what is this part? What is this? What is this part? Not sure. Uh, now. Let's see what else we got. Shoker. Um. Uh, sensor. No, Skulk, Skulk Shrieker. Wow, that was completely off. Completely off. Um, let's keep going. Is that light? Is that what my thing is? Is this light? No, nah, I have no idea. Uh, anyway, so let's go through um, some more stuff in here. All the way through. Just go and we got, uh, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, that is it. Come to the top. That is cool. Big submarine. Not sure what exactly the model is for it, but you guys can check it out yourself. Uh, I got the the propeller here in the back. Now I'm assuming this is a glitch. Not sure why the water's like this, but you can see the turbines here, which is neat. Here we got another ship, a 
bit shorter than the uh, ship there. This one, I'm not sure what this is. Is this like a docking thing? Is this for docking the ship? Or, or is this like a cannon? I don't think it's a cannon, but uh, it is a thing. Got some cool stuff, and some cannons on the top. We got some lots of detail. And uh, yeah, again, on this side, I'm not sure what this is. What is this? Uh, yeah, look at this. It's awesome, awesome stuff. Big, big detail. Lots of banners. And uh, yeah, awesome. Uh, plane? Oh, a plane, I think. What is, what is this? What is this little thing? Oh, a boat. A raft, maybe. Or, yeah, a raft. And I got this uh, cannons. Start blasting this ship over here. And then we got this plane. Is this like a... Is this folded or is it like a... Like a display? Or is this like a... Um, uh, yeah, like a product... Like, I don't know what this is. Would this be in... Maybe it's like a, uh, a water plane. With the wings here. Because the bottom here is like a flotation device or something. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that is the ship. And we have some small boats. Some like old fashioned boats. If I could sprint all the way over here. A big ship boat thing. Uh the sailboats, a sailboat, a big sailboat. Come to the front. Nice thing. Awesome stuff. Uh come to this deck. And not too much going on. Not too much. But uh yeah. So here we have a Another, uh, is that sailboats? If it's a sail, maybe it's a sailboat, but the stuff is folded up right now, or maybe not. Maybe it's just, maybe it's something different. Maybe it's just like a, uh, wait, it's a cannon on there, a cannon. So it's like a warship, some sorts. Uh, not a friendly boat. Kind of, it's got a gun on there, so maybe not, not too friendly. But uh, uh yeah, neat. Got the smoke stacks. So probably, yeah, probably a, uh, what do you call that? Like a nuclear reactor? No. Steam, not, not not steam, but like, not like whatever power, whatever powers this powers the power of this probably something similar. Uh, then we got this uh, uh this boat, this is a cool boat. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much all of his naval, naval right, naval stuff. Got a little lifeboat, I have to assume. And uh, yeah. Awesome stuff. So that is that is everything. That is all of Dream Wanderer's world. That is every build that he has. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Well, not little. It's a bit probably like an hour long, but uh, yeah. So if you want to see any tutorials on anything you see here, feel free to comment anything. Anything. Uh, I don't mind if you comment like, "Oh, build a ship." I probably won't do it because that's a big big project to do or big uh a big tax to do but uh yeah so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one see ya